here are all the hormones you need to know for the end cat so memorize them all when you can go and kick ass from the anterior pituitary there are seven you need to know listen close i'm gonna say them fast here i go well prolactin's in the name endorphins stop the pain tsh stimulates the thyroid gh makes you grow and you gotta know, ACTH stimulates your glucocorticoids. Well, follicle stimulating hormones stimulates those follicles and spermatogenesis. Luteinizing hormones stimulates ovulation and testosterone synthesis. <laughs> Vasopressin and oxytocin ships them to the posterior pituitary via vesicular locomotion. Vasopressin stimulates water reabsorption in the kidney. You need it to stay hydrated, baby. Oxytocin stimulates them uterine contractions and milk secretion for some sweet baby feeding action. It also stimulates bonding and is released after sex. But that's probably out of the scope of the MCAP, so I wouldn't worry about it yet. Thyroid makes T4 and T3, which stimulate metabolic activity. It releases calcitonin into the plasma as well, which lowers the blood's calcium level. The parathyroid is yet another gland that opposes calcitonin. It has its own plan. Parathyroid hormone raises blood calcium levels up, leaches it right out of your bones. It doesn't give a Glucocorticoids come from the adrenal cortex. They increase blood glucose and decrease protein synthesis. Mineral corticoids increase water reabsorption in the kidney, helping out vasopressin from the posterior pituitary. The adrenal medulla activates the sympathetic nervous system by releasing epi and norepinephrine. They both increase blood glucose levels and your heart rate to get you ready to fight or to escape. Make somatostatin, glucagon, and your insulin. They all act on your body's glucose regulation. If you can't control your body's glucose, then you have a disease. Insulin takes glucose from the blood into your cells, unless you have diabetes. Glucagon releases glucose into your blood. It's the opposite of insulin. If you're looking to suppress both insulin and glucagon, that's the function of somatostatin. Testosterone makes you a guy, estrogen a girl. Progesterone can make you a very irritable girl. Testosterone is produced and released by the testes. Progesterone and estrogen from the ovaries. We are almost done Just three left Wasn't this fun From the thymus, heart, and pineal gland We've got thymosin A and B And melatonin Thymosin stimulates T-cell maturation A and P does osmoregulation and vasodilation Melatonin's function remains unclear But it's sold as an over-the-counter sleep aid So, whatever 